Hello there, Tuny Boy here, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Now, I can't exactly remember where I was. Um, I think we've spoken to everyone. Rex, I remember speaking to you. Talia, I remember speaking to you back there. Um, Ashley, yep. Garrus, yep, I remember that because I didn't like... Oh, I like this requisition officer. Uh, hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Uh... Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Sure, fair enough. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Um... Licenses. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Alright, and what kind of manufacturers are we looking at? What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. New items! How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Alright, show me. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Whoa! Right, first off, sell. Let's have a look. What we getting? Is any of this, like, currently equipped? Uh, sell all junk. Sure. Anything that's like set as junk. Um, view comparison. John Shepard. Alright. Can we. Oh, yeah, no. I think I wanted to. I wanted to. Can I equip that? Right. Let me just see if I can. Ooh, codex. We'll read that in a moment. Uh, journal. Uh, find Liar to Sony. We're not going to do that just yet. Or are we? No. No. I mean, no, we're going to do side missions first. We're going to get through as many of these as possible. Um, but what I will do is... Yes, uh, cool. So, what I wanted to do is see... Okay, cool. I want that. Yeah, sure. Transfer all graded items. Uh, there's nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Uh, yeah, so I can't get that yet. Can I level up at all? No, well, I can't level up right now, but... Am I close to leveling up? Am I not close to leveling up? I'm close to leveling up. Uh, how do I get that, though? Whoa, 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 Relax. Uh, equip heavy armor. Nice. So I, if I level up once more, I can do that. That's good. I'll get that going. Uh, Spectre training. I want to get that as well, though. That'd be good. Right. Um, journey. <coughs> Excuse me. Codex. Um, what are we looking at? We're we looking at technology. No, we are looking at Omnitool. Omnitools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an Omnitool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first in colonists. Good stuff. Hey Shepard, dude, you're a little close to that wall. Just say it, man. Just say, take a hint. Take a hint and back away before you get yourself into a lawsuit. Galaxy map, here we are. Oh. Citadel and Galactic Government, which one are we after the now? Citadel. Citadel space is an unofficial term referring to any region of space controlled by a species that acknowledges the authority of the Citadel Council. At first glance, it appears this territory encompasses most of the galaxy. In reality, however, less than 1% of the stars have been explored. Even Mass Effect FTL drive is slow relative to the volume of the galaxy. Empty space and systems without suitable drive discharge sites are barriers to exploration. Only the mass relays allow ships to jump hundreds of light years in an instant. The key to expanding across an otherwise impassable galaxy. 
Whenever a new relay is activated, the destination system is rapidly developed. From that hub, FTL drive is used to expand to nearby star clusters. The result is a number of densely developed clusters, thinly spread across the vast expanse of space, connected by the mass relay network. Good stuff. One day we will have activated them all. Missions! Alright, yeah, no, we're not doing them. Okay, so, uh, let's look at the galaxy map. You got all of that music. Suppose the Citadel, supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capsule of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation, and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards, and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Total length. Alright, okay, yeah, well, I don't care about that. Uh, oh yeah, 13.2 million uh, population, not including keepers, so it's slightly less than the entire population of the Quarian Migrant Fleet. Brilliant. Let's zoom out. Oh, look at that. Look at the amount of stars we've already skipped past. So, oh yeah, this is just a cluster, isn't it? That's the cluster. Oh, look at that. We are in, we've got the Widow. Nice. Uh, so there's nothing here. We can zoom out to go into the galaxy. There, there you go. Serpent Nebula, that's what we're talking about. Right. So, where can we go? We've got the Hawking Eater. We've got Novaria. Asteroid 57. Back in a second. UNC Privateers. A man named Gareth asks you to look for his missing brother. Gareth fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while travelling through the Strenus system. Very well, we have our destination. That is what I wanted to disappear for a moment for. And now we will shall depart. Joker! Put in those coordinates! Horsehead Nebula. We are going to Strenus system. Let's go! Here we go, listen to the sound of it. <whistles> Gotta love it. Normandy SR1 is away. <laughs> there we go. Right, so let's do a little bit of exploration. I forget that this is different from Mass Effect 2 and 3. Although, Mass Effect 2 is the best one, because let's, let's not talk about Mass Effect 3, we'll get to it when we get to it. Strenuous, Antitara. Okay. Antitara is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of ammonia. Hydrocarbons in, this, uh, in the atmosphere lend it a distinct brown tint. Orbital period, 52.0 Earth years. Oh. Radius. 35,417 kilometers. Day length 14.7 Earth hours. Survey. Gas deposits. Gas deposits surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of helium-3. All right, cool. That was uh, cool. Uh, Trellin. Trellin is a lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Its surface contains large amounts of iron and magnesium silicates. Due to heavily uh, cratered terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. A Salarian religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere resembles their goddess. Orbital period 74.9 Earth years. Radius 1163 kilometers. Day length 36.7 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure 0, 0.00 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature minus 147 Celsius. Surface gravity 0.1 g. And there is nothing to scan on that system. Zawin. Warning: Level one cold hazard. Zawin has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of cobalt with deposits of cop copper. Planet side conditions are hazardous. Constant ice storms racking the surface. Orbital period 97.3 Earth years. Radius 5,756 kilometers. Day length 21.8 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure 0.79 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature minus 131 Celsius. Surface gravity 0.8 Gs. The last planet in this system is Thessalgon. Thessalgon. Standard hydrogen helium gas giants, 
For Stellagon's atmosphere, it's tinted blue by trace quantities of methane. Orbital period, 173.4 Earth years. Radius, 53,520 kilometers. Day length is 15.5 Earth hours. And there is nothing left to scan within this system. And you can't scan the star. The star. So, wait, can you do this? Have I been this one? I have not. I didn't even realize this one was in orbit. Shrouded by a thick atmosphere of uh, complex hydrocarbons. Yunthoral has... Yunthoral has never been fully mapped. The surface is hot and completely covered by a global ocean of liquid hydrocarbons. There are indications of primitive organic life developing deep within the global ocean. Orbital period, 5.8 Earth years. Radius, 5,905 kilometers. Day length, 55.2 Earth hours. Atmospheric pressure, 2.1 uh, Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, 68 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.8 Gs. Survey. Medallion recovered. Your scan uncovered an inch in deep space probe slowly orbiting Yunthal. Tali brought it on board, dismantled it, and found a League of One medallion hidden in its payload. I don't know what the League of One is. I imagine I'm about to get a codex log right about now. Ugh. Aliens Council Races. Salarians League of One. Before they joined the Citadel Council, the Salarians' most potent military tool was a small reconnaissance team known as the League of One. Their primary training was in espionage and assassination. Never more than a dozen strong, the team was adept at infiltrating the Titus defences and eliminating all necessary obstacles. Only a few top members of government and military were privy to the League's identities. League members were no, wore no distinguishing garments and held no particular rank. The only evidence of their participation in the League was a small medallion presented to each member upon induction. This secrecy was maintained until the formation of the Council. In an effort to dispel rumours and appease their new Asari partners, the Salarian Union released all classified documents pertaining to the League. The League of One was suddenly exposed and in danger of being hunted by enemies of the Salarians. Before any harm could be done, the team mysteriously disappeared. Most assumed this was a convenient lie to help hide their identities, but a few months later, the inner cabinet was murdered. Though there was no incriminating evidence, it was clear who was responsible. Realising the threat posed by this rogue outfit, the Special Tasks Group dispatched a team of hunters. When they didn't return, the STG dispatched ten of its brightest operators with broad discretionary powers. Only two returned. They reported no evidence of the League. No further incidents were reported and it was assumed the League was wiped out. Some recently, de some recently declassified documents, however, have suggested there may have been a 13th member who eluded the Salarian military. Humanity and the Systems Alliance Systems Alliance Geological Survey As the human race expands its territory and raises the general standard of living, demand for industrial resources shut up uh, fireworks, industrial resources continues to grow. Many planets, moons and asteroids contain a wealth of resources, but many systems have barely been charted, let alone thoroughly surveyed. Unmanned probes are one solution, but they are often lost to space hazards, unforeseen circumstances, or theft by salvagers. In recent years, Age 5 or AGES, the Alliance Geological Service, has offered bounties to private individuals or teams willing to perform mineralogical surveys on the frontier. This survey data is made publicly available to further corporate development. Due to the cost of travel and the dangers of operating on hostile worlds, it is rarely a profitable endeavour. Light metals. Metals with low atomic weight are often used in the construction of spacecraft and vehicles. Heavy metals. Metals with higher atomic weights are used to construct equipment components. The platinum group elements are particularly useful. Rare earths. Most useful materials in this category are radioactives or magnets. Gases. Why is that not capitalized? Various gases are required to support all knowns of sapient life. Some are commonly used as fuel. Cool. So, we can find various metals throughout our journey in the galaxy and we can source them for the Alliance. Let's investigate another system. Ah, hang on a second. There you are. MSV Majesty. Let's go there. So we found that ship. The Majesty is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. The ship is a derelict. 
All compartments are exposed to space, and the fusion plant is leaking. The damage is consistent with the ship-mounted mass accelerator fire. So it was attacked. Right, well let's see if there's anyone here. A faint trail of radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear power, a uh, nuclear engine drive, leads towards the nearby planet of Zawin. Hmm. So it's possible that he's escaped. Either that or we can track down the people responsible. Land. Let's go here. Ah, oh, doesn't that look cool? Look at us go. Right, who are we taking with us? Garrus and Tally. Oh, wait. Add squad, let's go. Sorry guys, bit biased. Ooh. Quite the blizzard. Barely even see us. Oh, there we are, in the Mako. Oh dear. The Mako. I forgot this, well, I didn't forget this thing existed. You know what? No, I didn't forget this thing existed. Um, Medal of Exploration. Ooh, these graphics are different. Land on an uncharted world. All right, let me just let me just try this for a little bit. All right, this is gonna be tricky getting used to. All right, machine gun, cannon. All right, cool. Let's go. Did I get a second achievement? All right, let's see what's over in this direction. All right, there you go. So I can zoom. That does that. All right, good to know. Anything else? All right, so I've got a little bit of a jump. Can't exit the back unless it's parked on level terrain. Cool. Return to Normandy. Ooh. Right, what's going on in this area? This oh, it's like a little hidden base, I think. Oh, bloody hell, the camera on this moves quick. Ancient debris, recover. Let's investigate this. Recover artifact, sure, why not? Oh. Yeah, you ain't catching me off guard. Insignia recovered. This fragment appears to be from an old model freighter. Part of it is marked with the Shati Outpost Insignia. You don't say. Codex! Aliens Council Races. Oh, I thought it was going to be... Uh, yeah, but we're in the wrong kind of codex lock for that. Turians, Unification War. At about the time the Salarians and Nasari were forming the Council, the Turians were embroiled in a bitter civil war. The Unification War, as it was later named, began with hostilities between the colonies furthest from the Turian homeworld, Palamon. These colonies were run by local chieftains, many of whom had distanced themselves from the hierarchy. Without the, galvanizing, without the galvanizing influence of the government, the colonies became increasingly isolated and xenophobic. Colonists began wearing emblems or facial markings to differentiate themselves from members of other colonies and open hostilities became common. When war finally broke out, the hierarchy maintained strict diplomacy and refused to get involved. After several years of fighting, less than a dozen factions remained, and the hierarchy finally intervened. By that time, the chieftains were too weak to resist. They were forced to put an end to fighting and renew their allegiance to the hierarchy. Though peace was restored, it took several decades for animosity between colonists to fade completely. To this day, most Turians still wear the facial markings of their home colonies. As a point of interest, the Turian term, rare-faced, refers to one who is beguiling or not to be trusted. It is also a slang term for politicians. Oh, that's good to know. Right, so we've got something added to the area map. Do we, oh, that's not fun. Do we have an area map? Uh, let's see. What's this over here? Debris. We've got, uh, oh, oh, this is difficult. Um, we've got a mercenary camp. So we've got a few things all over the place. Right, let's get in the Mako, let's depart. Nope, wrong button. How do I get in this thing? There we go. Right, so let's head that away and see what's what. Am I going to see a big massive base? Hmm? Yeah, no. Come on, boost in this direction. Let's go. Ah, what are you? Oh, can I see turrets? I can see turrets. I can. I'm being shot at. Oh, you shot first. I am very happy you did. All right, come on, you, you reload very slow. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm very low on health. How that happen? This, right? Can I? Can I? Right, hang on. Can I turn the bloody sensitivity on this down? It is absurd. Oh, I can't. Can I? Oh, you're having a laugh. Calibration. No. Oh God. Like it turns. No, it turns like 180 and a tap. It's really annoying. No, okay, right. I'm sensing a death. I'm being There we go. Right. What's causing all this damage, damn it? Do you mind shooting? What's going on? Shoot the damn gun! What? Why can't I shoot? What was that? Isaac Clark, is that you? Oh dear. Oh. Nope, got away with it. <laughs> got away with it, but I died. William. I think I'm about to find something over here on my right or right in front of me. Oh no. <coughs> yeah, so it's, it's just over here. Um, I didn't find this intentionally, I just went the wrong way. Um, crash probe. Sure, let's have a look at this. Nope, wrong button again. Let's have a look. Salvage. Uh, begin manual bypass, sure. Damn, that was more than I thought. Okay, cool, so I can get all that stuff. Hi. Team, get in this thing. There's a thrasher more. Yeah, that doesn't seem to do much. This thing needs to pick a direction to aim. That seems a bit unfair. This seems to be working. Okay, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, can I not heal while that all that's happening? There's not really much I can do when it comes to <laughs> doing that. There's not really much I can do when it comes to uh doing a few things. Whoa, turn please. Thank you. I assume that thing kills me instantly if it catches me.
Like, it doesn't seem that I can really dodge that. It doesn't really seem like there's much I can do. Guys, nearly dead. Oh, you're done now, are you? Yeah. Well, do you know what? Let me answer that for you. You are done. <clears throat> there we go. Got some credits. We healed up. We're ready to go. And what on earth? What? What's going on over here? What? Why is there a little X? As if I've done something. Oh, I guess that's just the spawn point of the boss, and that's why it's marked that. But we we a thresher more, and we collected the pro. Cool. Let's go and see if we can't take out that alliance, that base. I was going to say alliance base, but they're not alliance. Okay, that, we are off to a fucking fantastic start. Okay. Right, we are off to... We've, we've done good here. You're gonna heal, thank you. Got it. Yeah, I got you. Can't believe it. Snipe me. Leveled up. Now we're talking. Beep at me. There you go. Got it. Ah, that was more effort than it was probably worth. But do you know what? If we can find someone's missing brother, it's never more effort than it's worth. Let's get out of there. No, we're not returning to the nominee. Not until we find this guy's brother. But before that, we're gonna level up. Let's go. Let's go in here. Into building. Got all those loading times. Fusion containment cell. Alright, so is there anything? Shields are up. Enemies all over the place. Weapons out. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything back there. Right, let's take this. Methodically. Take out those <laughs>
Right. Okay. Fine. D uh, please select that one. Shield down. Okay. Cool. So that uh, we could we could handle that differently. Whoa, what are you doing, Shepard? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Throw a grenade, Shepard, throw the grenade. Shep oh, he's not throwing the grenade. What buttons the grenade again? Fire the gun! What are you doing? D Shepard, get in cover! Wow, you really don't take damage, do you? You guys really don't take damage, do you? Fire the gun, Shepard. Now we're getting somewhere. Someone's up there on that top level. One of them left up there. Nice. Let's take out all the enemies. I want to get away from that as soon as possible. Take away all the enemies first. Cool. So no one's there. Door control. Is that how I get up there? No, I get up there from over here. How do, no. How do I heal again? No, it's Y. I think that's Y, right? Yes. Does that heal the en enemies as well? Shepard, you might want to thank you. Do 
sure. Why not? Oh, nice. You guys got her. Well done. Alright. Room is clear. That would seem to be the case. Power junction. Right, let's back away from this thing and shoot from a distance. Is it? Oh, okay. It does, does run out like that. Okay. Got a little bit of toxin damage going on. Don't know if that's... I don't, don't, don't know if that's important. Avenger, let's do this. Using your abilities definitely helps you in this in the situ situation. That's that's good to remember, I suppose. Great. Let's see what's in here. Avenger, nice. Sure, why not? Many gel, cool. Right. First things first. I want everyone with a sniper to begin with. I want everyone opening up with snipers. Right. And that includes me. No, what do you mean, shop's not available? What are, you, what are you doing? I want everyone starting off with snipers. Right. It would seem that we're affected by something, and I just want to. Ah, oh, surely not. Anomaly identified. You have discovered the corpse of Captain Willem of the MSV Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Take the data pad. Okay, well, we can take that to Gareth anyway. Computer console, access. Codex, nice. Average encryption. Cool, got it. Nice, take all that. That's good stuff. Anything else of interest in here? Aid station. Medichel, good stuff. Does this do anything for us? No. Right, there's definitely going to be enemies. No. Okay. Ships and vehicles. Special combat, general tactics. Shells lofted by surface navies crash back to Earth when their acceleration is overwhelmed by gravity and air resistance. In space, a projectile has unlimited range. It will keep moving until it hits something. Practical gunnery range is determined by the velocity of the attacker's ordnance and the maneuverability of the target. Mm, excuse me. Beyond a certain range, a small ship's ability to dodge tr uh, trumps uh, ability to dodge trumps a larger attack's projectile speed. A larger attack ad beyond a certain range, a small ship's ability to dodge trumps a larger attacker's uh, projectile speed. The longest range combat occurs between dreadnoughts, whose projectiles have the highest velocity but are the least maneuverable. The shortest range combat is between frigates, who have the slowest projectile velocities and highest maneuverability. Opposing dreadnoughts open with a main gunner artillery duel at extreme ranges of tens of thousands of kilometers. The fleets close, maintaining invasive lateral motion while keeping their bow guns facing the enemy. Fighters are launched and attempt to close the disrupted torpedo range. Uh, to disrupt a torpedo range, cautious admirals weaken the enemy with range fire and fighter strikes before committing to close action. Aggressive commanders advance so cruisers and frigates can engage. At long range, the main guns of cruisers become useful. Friendly interceptors engage enemy fighters until the attackers enter the range of ship-based guardian fire. Dreadnoughts fire from the rear, screened by smaller ships. Commanders must decide whether to commit to a general melee or retreat into FDL. At medium range, ships can use broadside guns. Fleets intermingle, and it becomes difficult to retreat in order. Ships with damaged kinetic barriers are vulnerable to Wolfpack frigate flotillas that speed through the battle space. Only fighters and frigates enter close close night flight. Only frig only fighters and frigates enter close night night. Only fighters and frigates enter close. Only Friday. <laughs> Only fighters and frigates enter close knife fight ranges of 10 or fewer kilometers. Fighters loose their disrupted torpedoes, bringing down a ship's connected barriers and allowing it to be swarmed by frigates. Guardian lasers become viable weapons, swatting down fighters or boiling away warship armor. Neither dreadnoughts nor cruisers can use their main guns at close range. Laying the bow on a moving target becomes impossible. Superheated thrust exhaust becomes a hazard. Cool. Journal. Uh, yeah, so we don't... Oh, we can find three Turian emblems. Let's do that at some point. But for now, let's head down here. Right, there is something notable in this direction over here. So let's take a bit of a cruise in the Marco, because it's 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 a cool little vehicle to cruise around in. And we should see it right about now. Okay, so let me try that again. Uh, we're going to cruise around in the Marco, because it's a cool little thing to cruise around in. 
and we should be seeing our thing of interest right about now on the map in this direction so there is what a cave a crushed pot hmm. what's this corpse oh discovery it appears the person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed area map interesting what's on the area map now Okay. Wait. Whoa! Iridium deposit. Survey mineral. Mineral surveyed. Heavy metal surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a small deposit of iridium. Nice. That guess is a lot of money. Uh, not a decent amount of money, I should say. Uh, so yeah, we can find little deposits of uh, resources out like this. The implication being that the more you find, the more reliant ships you build. Right, we've got, uh, ooh, we've got like, is that a big gas tank or something over there? What's over there? Enemies? Maybe not. Maybe civilization? Doubt. Oh, so it could have been civilization, but not anymore. Generator, what's this? Activate. Discovery. There appears to be no one left at this camp. The generator is still functioning. There are no signs of the former occupants. The camp's, com the camp's computer notes uh, the camp's computer notes several locations of interest. Right, it would appear that we have another mineral deposit within the area. Let's park the Mako on the mineral deposit and get out and investigate. It would appear we have cobalt. Let's survey. Let's see. Survey, survey, survey. You've successfully uh, surveyed a large deposit of cobalt. Now that is a resource used in the uh, construction of spaceships. Now uh, what's this? Oh. Whoa, this beacon was a gas trap. Okay. You weren't actually dead. You guys are easy. Cool. You are not dead. Yes, you are. No. There we go. <coughs> so that beacon was a Geth trap. Well, the Geth are now dead. So that clears that up. And our last mineral deposit, which is just oh about way. here. So let's jog our way through here and survey ourselves some palladium. There you go, heavy metal. Good stuff. Right. Let's see. Equipment. Gather all that. Gather all that. There we go. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. We've got we've got a lot to go go with here. Alright. Journal. Uh assignments. Let's go. Uh yeah, talk to Gareth. Alright, let's go. Let's let's go do that. Here we are at the Citadel. Let's track Gareth down. I believe he's in the tower, right? Citadel Tower. And let's tell him what's happened to his brother. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure what his name is. I think it's, it's not William, is it? Willem? No, I think it's... You know what? Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. Willem. I was right. Right, here we are in the Citadel Tower. And we are getting name suggestions right off the bat. Gareth? I've got good news and bad news. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? Um, I found him, but unfortunately he is no longer amongst the living. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? 
I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. You know what to say, Shepard. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? That's why I say. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Paragon plus two. Journal. I'd imagine that's just. Wait. I'd imagine that is the end of that. It's just gone into. Yeah, there you go. UNSC privateers. You have informed Gareth that his brother Willem died. Not the best note to leave it on, but that's about all the time I've got for this one. I hope you guys have had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, have a great time.